I'm starting a new build. This is going to be a little bit of a different thing that I'm used to doing. I started this channel years ago just to deal with the Pontiac Fiero and now I've expanded it to do scale models and the one thing that I have never allowed on this channel is anything political as it's one of the few things that is extremely divisive and that's not what I want this channel to be about. I'm not into looking to argue about ideologies or political affiliations. This is just for people who want to enjoy a hobby to get away from all of the craziness of the world. You know, watch a few videos that may interest you. And uh, that's pretty much it. But even so, there are certain things going on in the world which, no matter how much you want to keep clear of it, you can't. You have to do or say something. And what's going on right now in Europe is, in my opinion, madness. And... What's happening to the Ukrainian people is one of the greatest crimes of the last, of this century, and probably most of the last. So, we have a few of our model building community who have showed their support for Ukraine by building in support of Ukraine, and that's exactly what I'm planning on doing here. I have decided that uh, I'm going to do something to show my support for the people of Ukraine. It's, uh, you know, this is a small channel. I'm sure not many people will see it. And uh, if anyone from the Ukraine ever hears of this, then, or ever sees this, then know that our thoughts are with you. Um... And this may make no difference in the greater scheme of things, but it's just something that I wanted to do to show that I do support their fight for freedom. So, that being the case, I'm going to do a special build just to show my support for the Ukrainian people. And uh, I picked up a very special project for this, and I'm going to show you guys what it is. So, uh, follow along with me, and uh, let's take a look. Right, guys, here we have the ICM Admiral Cabriolet World War II passenger car. This is a kit from Made in the Ukraine. As you can see, it says right there. And really, who knows if we'll ever see another one of these kits again with what's going on there. So, just wanted to do my part and show support for the Ukrainian people. And if we do never see another kit from them again, I want to document the entire build of one of their kits, one of their products, so that we can see the kind of quality and workmanship that they had. And hopefully, when all of this is over, if it's over anytime soon, well, they'll be part of our community once again. So let's open this up and take a look at what's inside. I can already see that their boxes are quite a bit different than ours. It's, I usually like to... But let's see, I'm not really sure what to expect here. I've never built one of their kits. As I always thought, hey, there's always time to work on one of these. It just goes to show that you just never know which way the world is going to blow. And nothing is guaranteed. So let me open this up here and let's take a look together and see what. 
one of their kits is all about. Have any chrome? Oh, yes, we do. Some chrome right here. It is nicely packaged, I will say that. Two bags of sprues here. Oh, so we have our set of decals. This is a German World War II car, so it'd be interesting to see. Where those go, I have no clue. Hmm. Unusual paper, it's almost like newsprint. Here we have all of our trees represented. Wow, nicely, neatly organized instructions. Oh, it looks like it's a pretty nicely sorted out engine here. I've got to do quite a bit of research in order to figure out what exactly to do here, as I'm not familiar with this car at all. Look at the chassis. The cha oh, wow, multi-piece chassis. Wow, that is interesting. Here we have our front suspension, our rear diff. An axle are installed in the chassis. Drop our engine in. Our seats also multi-piece assembly. Oh, here we have the dashboard. The steering wheel is actually well. Look at that. It's a two-piece steering wheel. Oh, quite a few decals for the dashboard. Here go all of our seats. We're gonna have to definitely figure out. These have got to be paint call-outs. And here go our pedals. Here's our interior trim. Well, here's our body going together. Multi-piece body. This should be interesting to do. There's our grills. And this is our, I guess, our final assembly where we're dropping the chassis on. Chassis is separate from the body. We have our exhaust, our engine already installed. Looks like some kind of an X frame or something here. More body components. Oh, this is going to be a really interesting build. quite what I expected. Quite a bit better than what I expected. Alright, let's take a look here. Now we have our look at this, some resealable bags. I'm going to guess that these are resealable. Of tires. We can have more of these small receivable bags. Let's take a look at the tires here. Oh. Nice rubber like tires. components a little nicely molded although I will have to I think I'm gonna have to engrave I'm gonna have to uh, deepen these panel lines look a little shallow but other than that I don't see any flash at all it looks like it's really cleanly molded Take a look at oh, there's little Max making noise. 
Here's the door panels. Again, very cleanly molded. This looks a lot better than a few kits that I've built recently. Very nice. The most I can see, anything I can see to criticize there is a the fact that I may have to just re-engrave some of those panel lines. Now let's take a look at the chrome. Wow, this is some beautiful chrome work. And I'm not just saying that. This really is some beautiful chrome work. I mean, wow, I'm impressed so far. I've never built one of these kits because I've never really been into, I'm primarily a sci-fi and car builder. And their catalog of products never really was something that I was really into. Although I did see this particular car, which called my attention. Let's take a look at the glass. And let's see what's going on with the glass here. I do like the way they package it with these bags. Wow, look at that glass. Now that is clean and clear. Uh, looks like I may see one tiny little scratch on the windshield, which looks like I'll be able to get that right out. But this is some clear, well, a little bit of distortion in the windshield, but it is very, very clear. And these headlight. Wow. That I may have been missing out by not looking a little deeper into MCW. This is a really well made kit. Look at how cleanly molded this, this engine block is. I mean, everything is so crisp and sharp. See the framework. Everybody, guys out there, just uh, ignore Mrs. Onyx models and Little Mac Mac because uh, they are just doing what they do. And this seat's very nicely made. Here's our dashboard. More parts of our frame. Here go leaf springs. the exhaust, which is a really nice looking piece. We really have to say that I am impressed. Let's start putting all of this away. We have to do quite a bit of research to figure out what exactly it is that we're going to do with this kit. We already have An idea in mind to honor the Ukrainian people. I want to also 
so hey guys so that was our first look at the admiral cabriolet from icm world war ii german passenger car this will be our tribute build to the ukrainian people building a kit made in ukraine and made to celebrate their accomplishments at least as far as our community goes of model builders so i'm going to be doing this in the ukrainian colors which will be blue and the inset here is going to be yellow not really sure how that's going to look but this is where we're going with this and this should be a really interesting build i've never done one of their kits before and I'm really, really anxious to get started with it, as it looks like it's a really uh, nice kit. All right, guys, that's it. We're going to get started with this one soon. And remember, I'm not even going to ask you to subscribe or like anything. I, matter of fact, I'd rather ask you to just support the Ukrainian people if you can, in any way you can. Us as model builders, this is our small way of doing that. I'll see you on the next.